Hi guys, this is Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard. You should definitely hit subscribe and hit the notification bell before we go any further and before you realise how fucking garbage this content is. If this is not your first time on the channel, you may want to seek some professional help. In either case, thank you very much for being here. I do really appreciate your viewership and hopefully you'll enjoy it enough to stick around. In today's video, we're taking a look at something slightly more of a casual concept. We are taking a look at the Blue Eyes Ritual variant. Yes, of course, the aim for the deck is, of course, to summon out those big blue boys and just smack the fuck out of your opponent. On top of that, we get to use Blue Eyes White Dragon as well. What's not to like? This is exactly the kind of good deck that you would take to something like a Locals. I certainly wouldn't recommend taking it to any higher tier events, of course, because you'll get an absolute fucking pasting. If you're inspired whilst watching this video to go out and pick up the cards, you should consider hitting up Jam Jam Cards UK. There's a link in the description to their eBay store, and of course you'll get yourself a nice discount courtesy of yours truly. They don't just do Yu-Gi-Oh! singles though, they do Pokemon as well, so if you're interested in the Pokemon TCG as well, definitely have a look at those singles and see if you can net yourself a nice discount. But anyway, that's enough waffling on from me, let's get stuck in to the deck profile. Before we go any further, let me first apologise if there are any weird noises in the background, and hopefully the audio quality will be good enough. Apologies if you do hear a kind of whirring sound that is a fan on my laptop going absolutely fucking insane, but hopefully we'll be able to edit most of that out with the after audio editing. But again, that's enough nonsense from me, let's get stuck into the deck profile. So given that this is a Chaos Max variant of the deck, focused on the Ritual Summoning mechanic, of course, you have to play triple copies of Chaos Max. The intention here, of course, is to just absolutely twat your opponent and kill them in one shot, if you possibly can. We also have Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon. This is a really cool option to have available to you. Uh, I don't find that this comes up quite as often as the other, but it does give you some utility against a certain variety of deck. With that in mind, we're just running a single copy. You could up this to two or three if you felt necessary, but we are already running a lot of bricks in here, so keep that in mind. And and of course, it wouldn't be a Blue Eyes White Dragon deck without triple copies of Blue Eyes White Dragon itself. Pick your favourite artworks and go with those, I guess. Uh, not much to add on these. Of course, the effect is kind of dismal. It doesn't really do all that much. Although it is a legendary dragon that is a powerful engine of destruction, it's virtually invincible and very few have faced the awesome creature and live to tell the tale. We have triple copies of Alternative White Dragon. To be honest with you, this is definitely one of the better cards in the deck. Being able to get rid of some monsters on your opponent's side of the field is always quite nice. Get rid of something that's problematic and then smacking the shit out of absolutely everything else. A single copy of Dragon Spirit of White. I think that one is absolutely sufficient, although you could up to a second if you wanted to. Being able to get rid of back row, being able to tribute it off when it gets into a kind of tricky situation, shall I say. Uh, just a really good option, really good utility, something to keep in mind. Our main normal summon for the deck is Manju of the 10,000 Hands. We've got triple copies of that available to us in here. This, of course, is going to add us either our ritual cards or our ritual monsters, depending on what we need. We're running triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. There isn't a lot of room in here for hand traps. You could omit some of the other utility cards and go for more if you really wanted to. I think that Ash Blossom hits the majority of decks, so particularly other rogue builds, it really sort of cripples those as much as possible. So again, I think given that it's the most diverse hand trap, you have to run triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. Triple copies of trading. We're running plenty of level 8s here, and you're not always going to need them. The deck can be a little bit slow, a little bit bricky, so if you've got the opportunity to draw cards, you should absolutely be taking that. Running Pot of Extravagance in here, we don't really use the extra deck. The only downside to this is it can interfere with cards such as Trading, Upstart Goblin, and Card Destruction. But for the most part, it's still a really cool card to have in here. If you don't see any cards that you need to get your play side, then this is what you really want to see in your hand. And again, as mentioned, the extra deck is pretty much useless. There's just random cards in there that I feel have got some decent utility. So if you banish them all, it really doesn't matter. Triple copies of Chaos Form. You absolutely need to run this at three because you need to see it. I'm pretty sure it doesn't require any other explanation. We've got Advanced Ritual Art in here. You can dump a Blue Eyes to get out one of the other big boys. Uh, again, just two copies in here because I think multiples kind of is wasted beyond this. Um, it isn't a card that you want to see too often. You're going to find it just really cloggy, but it is a good option if you want to just load up the graveyard. If you happen to open it, that's really cool, and if not, it really doesn't matter. 
I'm sure I don't need to explain to you why we're running Melody of the Awakening Dragon. We've got two copies of that in here. Again, a third, probably a little bit too cloggy. Two works perfectly fine. This card's incredible in this deck, and you definitely want to run a couple of copies of this. We're running just a single copy of Bingo Machine Go! Unfortunately, this is still quite pricey at the moment, although there is a reprint right around the corner at the time of recording this video, so you'll be able to get it a little bit easier then. I think that the one copy is absolutely fine. You don't really need more than that. You could run more if, of course, you've got access to them, but I think one is plenty. Welcome to 2021, ladies and gentlemen. Harpy's Feather Duster is alive and well in the TCG. We'd like to wipe out our opponent's back row to make sure that those punches are going through as much as possible. Not too many decks at the moment are back row heavy in the, in the traditional sense, but having this option available to you is a really good one. Card destruction is really good here. If you end up with a really bricky hand, you can dump everything and hopefully see something a little bit better. Just be wary when you use this card though, because you can help set up your opponent's cards as well. We're running a single copy of Upstar Goblin here because giving your opponent a thousand life points really doesn't matter and running 39 cards in your deck is a benefit. A single copy of Call by the Grave here is still an incredibly powerful spell card that you want to make as much use of as possible. This deck can lose quite hard to most hand traps so having this here to potentially save you and be able to play is a really important option. We're running a single copy of Strength in Unity. This can be a little bit lackluster at times. Just having the one copy in here is more than enough though. Again, it's not one of those cards that you want to see all the time and not one that you want to clog on. So, of course, just one copy will be plenty. When you do get to resolve it, though, it is really nice being able to nick out some of your opponent's cards. Also, the fact that it allows you to recur resources, what's not to like? We're running triple copies of Infinite Impermanence. If you don't have access to this and you want something a bit more budget-friendly, of course, you can run the likes of uh, Effect Veiler. I think Infinite Impermanence is better, though, of course, because you can go first with it. Going second, it's even better. The fact that you can switch off your opponent's back row as well is also a nice touch, but I appreciate fully that not everyone has access to this card. And we're running a single copy of Destined Rivals. It doesn't come up all the time, but being able to switch off all your opponent's monster effects is really neat. Especially if you see it turn one, the fact that you can effectively just switch off their entire board at that time is really, really cool. And then we move on to our extra deck. This is actually really just down to whatever the hell you like. I put in Sanaphon because it's a really generic way of stopping off your opponent's graveyard. And triple copies that, of course, because we don't want to banish them all. Much the same for Dingeasu because it offers you board protection. And, of course, being able to do a bit of spot removal that's non-targeting is just really cool. Running triple copies of Hope Harbinger here because, well, why the fuck not? It's a nice generic negate, so if you do have to go first... This is a good option to use. And the rest of our options here are just kind of random cards that I felt could be of use. Thunder and Dragon, just being able to blow up all your opponent's cards. And the rest of these have too much text for me to read out to you. But of course you can see what they are. We've got Galaxy Eyes, Cypher Dragon, Galaxy Eyes, Full Armor Photon Dragon, Galaxy Eyes, Cypher Blade Dragon, Number 62, Galaxy Eyes, Prime Photon Dragon, and Number 107, Galaxy Eyes, Tachyon Dragon. These are just some of the other good rank 8s that I thought had really good opportunities to go into. Definitely try these out and see what you find that works best. But of course, this extra deck is hugely flexible and entirely up to you. And that is all for today's deck profile. Hopefully by virtue of the fact that you made it this far, you actually quite enjoyed this nonsense. Or at least hated it enough so that you couldn't possibly look away. Well, if you're one of those little weirdos that's made it to this point in the video, I congratulate you from sitting through from this absolute fucking nonsense. I do really appreciate you guys being here though, so thank you very much for making it this far. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, something a little bit different, definitely drop it down in the comments. I do read them absolutely all and will usually try and reply to as many as I possibly can. But I'm afraid that is all from me today. Definitely check out some of the other videos on the channel if you're so inclined. And again, if you haven't already, you should definitely hit subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.